Hey guys, Steph here. This is October 24th, 2016. So, in about July, I decided to actively start vlogging on this YouTube channel. As you may or may not know, in the past, we had put up a whole bunch of videos from older courses. Well, at the time, they weren't older. And though this is a, a YouTube channel that's, oh, must be seven, eight years old, I guess now, it was pretty much inactive up until about June or July, with some exceptions, maybe a vlog every two weeks or something. So I decided to try to do almost daily vlogs since July. At the time, I believe I had around 10,000 subscribers. So as you can see here, subscribers, 13,999. So yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it's not a huge amount of subscribers, no kidding. But considering that I went from 10,000 to just about 14,000 in just a few months, it's not bad. It's not bad considering the uh, amount of effort I had put into this thing. It's not a terrible amount, but anyway. So now I'm going to press refresh, and I'm pretty sure we're going to be over 13,999. We want to get rid of Evil 13. There we go, 14,001. Isn't that cool? So it's official. We're out of the Evil 13s. Now we're into the Lucky 14s, which can only mean good things. So thanks for being a subscriber. I'm enjoying doing the YouTube videos. Oh, here's a phone call, so I'm going to have to let you go. Bye-bye. About to head out for my coffee, but I had a, a little interesting vlog to do. October morning, late October in uh, Montreal. You see the reflection of the sky. See what the sky actually looks like. So, best way to speed up an app is to do two things. Well, PHP apps. So we have an old, uh, old, we have a legacy PHP app that I uh, run and own. Works really well. And uh, it's got some legacy code in there, meaning old code. And one of the issues was speed for us. What are we going to do about speed? So we can go in there and start refactoring, which means rewriting bits of the code to simplify it and to maybe speed it up. But the easiest way to speed up a code base is to, uh, well, with PHP, is to move PHP uh, early versions of code from PHP 5.x, whatever version of PHP you have, 5 could be 5.5, 5.6, whatever, and then move it to PHP 7. There's a huge speed increase with PHP 7. That's it's great. Uh, I highly recommend that you do that. We just did that recently, and we had some amazing results. But you may have to rewrite some of your code to adopt itself to uh, to adapt itself rather to PHP 7. There's some differences here and there. And the other thing we did is we moved from a traditional uh, spinning disk drive, excuse me, and then we moved into SSD cloud-based drives and Woo! To give you an idea, responses that used to take a second or two with PHP 5.6 or whatever it was, 5.x, you know, and a traditional drive have gone down from one or two seconds to respond to instant. You, 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 you click, and as you're lifting your finger up, it's so fast now that you get a response. It's like a whole brand new shiny app. And all we did was migrate to PHP 7, and also, we use an SSD-based server. Super stoked, super happy about it. It breathes new life into the app without having to do a huge amount of code. Yeah, so if you got an, an app, web app, whether it be in PHP or any other language, really any other server programming language, um, first thing I would do well in any other language be sure you have the latest version of the language, usually the optimizer speed, and look at SSD-based hosting because it's just so, so much faster, so much faster. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Short vlog because I got to go get my coffee and I got this much work to do today. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.